。好，好，我们的培训现在开始。嗯，大家上午好，欢迎参加首都国际经贸大讲堂之海外商发讲堂系列培训活动。本次活动由北京、天津、河北、山东以及沈阳青岛贸促会国际商会联合主办，中国贸促会信息中心、中国贸促会贸法通平台、中国国际商会会员发展部、北京德恒律师事务所以及巴拿马 Morgan and Morgan 律所协办。我是北京市贸促会法律部张国斌，是此次线上培训的主持人。今天培训的主题是中企在巴拿马贸易和投资需关注的主要法律问题及风险。巴拿马位于中美洲地峡，连接中美洲和南美洲，是该区域重要的海洋、航空、物流、商业和金融中心。巴拿马以巴拿马运河而著称，该运河是一条连通太平洋与大西洋的国际航道，被誉为黄金水道和世界贸易晴雨表。在运河大西洋一侧有个科隆自贸区，是美洲最大自贸区，也是全球第二大自贸区。巴拿马经济支柱为运河航运、金融服务和旅游业，服务业收入在其国民经济中占有重要地位。2017年6月，中国同巴拿马建交。同年11月，巴拿马成为首个同中国签署“一带一路”合作谅解备忘录的拉美和加勒比国家。中国长期保持科隆自贸区最大商品供应国及巴拿马运河第二大用户地位。为方便有意向对巴拿马进行贸易投资的企业掌握当地政策法规总体情况，全面了解机遇和风险，今天海外商法讲堂邀请巴拿马 Morgan and Morgan 律师事务所的 Alejandra 律师为大家讲解在巴拿马贸易和投资应当关注的主要法律问题和风险。Alejandro 律师是呃 Morgan and Morgan 律所公司公司法部门的资深律师，经常代表本地和国际客户处理并购合资企业、资本市场、债务和抵押担保结构以及公司重组等事务。他还专注于矿业、能源、航空、经济特区、税收和新技术，如区块链和加密货币等领域的公共政策和法律研究。本来今天还有另外一位律师是 Carlos， 他是律所的合伙人，嗯、呃，因为今天生病了，就是没能参加我们的讲座，但是我也是把他做一下介绍，因为会后如果大家想联系的话，也是可以通过我们联系到他。呃 ，Carlos 是律所合伙人，领导律所的反垄断、消费者保护、政府采购和合同、电信以及保险和再保险业务组，在公司法业务部门也发挥着重要作用。关注并购、合资企业、监管和商法等方面。此外，他还被巴拿马政府任命为国际投资争端解决中心的仲裁员和调解员，也就是总部位于华盛顿的 ICSID。然后，嗯，因为他生病了，所以说 Alejandro 律师为为呃将将那个讲他他原来要讲的那一部分。然后等 Alejandro 律师的分享结束后，还有十分钟的问答环节，可以回答听众的提问。本次讲座由德恒上海律师事务所业务合伙人王林奇律师和屈明珠律师进行现场翻翻译。下面进入第一部分，有请 Alejandro 律师。Mr. Alejandro, I have finished my introduction. The floor is yours. Thank you very much for your introduction.、Uh, it's my pleasure to share this time with you,、uh, and. Also, share with you a little bit of my country, Panama, and the legal context of of of, of this beautiful and very business friendly country. So, as you know,、uh, the presentation is titled "The Key Legal Issues and Risks for Chinese Enterprises Overseas Trade and Investment Special Session in Panama." 嗯，很高兴为大家介绍我的国家巴拿马。然后今天的讲、呃、讲座的主题是中国企业海外贸易与投资的关键法律问题与风险。Okay, so very briefly, the three main areas that we are going to cover is first, how is the business environment in Panama? Second. 
uh, the key issues and main risks when investing here in Panama? And third, how to avoid risks related to cross-border trade or commercial dispute resolution here in Panama? 今天的讲座呢，主要分成三个部分。首先，第一部分部第一部分介绍就是巴拿马的营商环境，第二部分就是介绍在巴拿马营商的时候需要注意的一些主要的问题和风险，然后第三个问题就是告诉大家如何在
带来了非常的呃灵活性非常的大。Also in Panama, there are very few uh, legislations that regulate on the basis of nationality. So uh, as a general principle, all persons are treated equally and there are very specific activities which are reserved to Panama nationals. But in general terms, uh, most persons can come to Panama and conduct business freely. 呃，巴拿马是一个国籍中立的国家，然后不会对外国的投资者有歧视，除了一些特定的行业外，就是外国投资者不可以自由的参与呃一些经营活动。Uh, regarding Panama corporations, which are a type of juridical entity that is a very very uh, known in the world and probably the most used here in Panama. Uh, you can have a single shareholder uh, as the only owner of the corporation. Uh, and again, there is no requirement to be a national of a specific country in order to be a shareholder, a director, an officer, and or, or other kind of corporate uh, position in the company. So the uh, corporation's framework is also very friendly Two foreign investors here in Panama. Uh, Panama has a very well-established legal framework. That is, it allows for a single company to form a corporation without a national requirement. That is to say, a natural person or a company can alone own or control a corporation, and do not need to cooperate with other shareholders or directors. Another of the great benefits of Panama is that in the monetary aspects, uh, first of all, there is generally a no monetary policy because we do not have a central bank. Uh, there is a national bank that does commercial uh, activities, but no regulation on the monetary policy side. Uh, um, and thus there is no capital controls, either for inflows of money or outflows of money, uh, it can flow freely from other countries into Panama and outside of Panama. Uh, another 也也就意味着任何人均可以在巴拿马进行投资，然后并且顺利的将资金贷出，然后不受任何的限制或者说是管制。然后巴拿马也没有控制货币供求关系的中央银行，因此是没有货币政策的。呃 ，the taxation system here in Panama is territorial based, meaning that if you are a juridical person, uh, incorporated here in Panama. You will only be subject to taxes if the income is derived from a local source, uh, meaning that if a entity incorporated here in Panama conducts business abroad, that income is not subject to taxes here in Panama. For reference, if you were to generate a local source income, the tax rate for juridical persons is 25%. 呃，巴拿马实行的是属地税制和有征信、竞争呃比较有竞争力的税收制度，也呃也就是说，他们是只对来源于巴拿马境内的收入进行征税，对境外的收入是免税的。然后，如果是境内征税的话，他们的企业所企业所得税的税率是百分之二十五。Okay, so in the same line of thought that there is no central bank, uh, one of the main reasons for that is that because since our inception uh, in the early 1900s, we have been a dollarized economy, uh, meaning that the US dollar is legal tender. And even though the US dollar is legal tender, uh, persons and financial institutions 
are free to transact in whatever currency they see fit. And this also has a lot of benefits for the country uh, because reduces inflation, attracts foreign investments, and obviously uh, is a great facilitator of, of international trade. Uh. 就是他讲到，就自一九应该是一九零四年以来，就是巴拿马实行的是美元的经济，就是他们将美元作为是官方的一个货币，然后这样做的优势就是说可以降低通货膨胀，并且吸引了很多的外国投资，然后也能够促进国际的贸易。Okay, so in that context, Panama has also created. Uh, special regimes that offer tax incentives, legal benefits, and infrastructure facilities to certain sectors and activities. Uh, the five main ones are Panama Pacifico, Colon Free Zone, Energy Free, free Trade Zones, Multinational Headquarters, and the City of Knowledge. Uh, Banama还有一些特别的经济制度，然后可以为企业的活动提供税收的一些福利。这些制制度呢，主要有五个，就是巴拿马太平洋特别经济区，然后科隆自由贸易区，然后跨国总总部的制度，以及知识产的制度。was created in 2004 and is a former U.S. military base that was trans transformed to an area that attracts high-tech industry, logistic service, uh, tourism. It has also an airport and the companies that operate from this zone have tax exemptions, uh, more flexible labor laws and a uh, in addition to the airport, they also have a port. So this allows company to trade goods and establish regional uh, headquarters for their offices uh, with a lot of benefits, uh, mainly on the fiscal side. Uh, 设立的目的呢，就是为了促进高科技的产业、物流服务和旅游业的发展。然后，在巴拿马太平洋特别经济区、特别经济区开展业务的公司是可以享受税费、劳动、用工等方面的优惠政策，并可以享受现代化的机场和港口。The second one has been established since 1948. It's called the Colon Free Zone. And is a uh, industrial and business zone established in the Atlantic in the city of Colon. Uh, it's the largest free trade zone in the Americas and the second largest free trade zone in the world. Uh, it mostly serves as a hub for a uh, re exportation of goods to Latin America, the Caribbean, and other regions. And companies that operate in the Colon Free Zone benefit from tax ex tax exemptions, a customs facility, and a very large network of warehouses and distribution centers. Um, and obviously, being uh, in the Atlantic side, uh, very very near uh, the canal, uh, is a very strategic location for uh, receiving and exporting goods to the places I just mentioned. 科隆自由贸易区，这是美洲最大的自由贸易区，也是世界上第二大的自由贸易区。它成立于一九四八年，然后位于巴拿马太平太呃大西洋沿岸。然后科隆自由自由贸易区是向拉丁美洲、加勒比海和其他的地区呃转转口货物的一个枢纽。然后在科隆自由贸易区经营的公司可以享受免税、海关便利。The third one, which is the energy free trade zones, are special zones that were created in 2011 to promote trade in oil, 
and other energy products and companies that operate in these zones uh, have um, tax and tariff exemptions for managing, distributing, transforming, and in general, working with uh, oil and its derivatives. Um, for context, Panama Pacifico and Colón Free Trade Zone are a specific area and uh, energy free trade zones can be established anywhere in the country. So uh, there is a special process with the state where you request to transform a certain area into an energy free trade zone. For example, Panama's main airport, Tocumen Airport, is an energy free trade zone, meaning that the oil that is uh, transacted within the airport uh, has tax benefits uh, and the companies um, working in this zone and with these products obviously um, enjoy those benefits. So this gives a lot of flexibility for uh, investors that want to trade these kinds of products to uh, even request a, a specific area to be created into uh, their own free trade zone and establish other companies uh, in these zones. Or you can also, um, as an investor, establish a company within an existing uh, free trade zone, energy free trade zone. Uh第四个就是呃第三个是那个能源呃能源自由贸易区这个特区是设立于二零二零一一年然后设立的目的就是为了促进石油和其他能源产品的贸易然后在这个能源自由贸易区经营的公司也是可以享受这个税收和关税
，然后部分的中中国公司是享受到了这个呃优惠或者说便利。Okay, and the last special regime is called the City of Knowledge. It was created in 1998, and it's also a former U.S. military base in Panama City, and it is aimed to foster innovation, research, education, and social development. It hosts more than 200 organizations, as universities, research centers, NGOs. International agencies, uh, among others, uh, companies that operate in the city of knowledge enjoy tax exemptions, immigration benefits, and uh, it's a very beautiful uh, as a campus. So, in general, they get to network with a similar type of organizations that are based in the city of knowledge. Uh,第呃最后一个就是知识产制度，这是巴拉马于一九九八年在呃原美国的一个呃知识基地上建立的一个学术和科学的特区，设立的目的呢就是为了促进创新研究呃教育和社会的发展，然后这个知识产制拥
on the financial side, since, as I mentioned, there is a, no capital controls and we have a dollarized economy, uh, this has been uh, a great advantage that the Panamanian financial sector has taken to their advantage. And there are more than 60 banks established here in Panama. Several of them are international banks. Uh, and one of them uh, is the Bank of China. Um, deposits, uh, savings or other types of, of, of deposits are not taxable. The interest that they generate are not subject to tax. So again, that is uh, one of the advantages that the financial sector offers to people that want to have funds here in Panama. Uh, Panama is has 60 呃巴拿马是拥有吸引了许多的想要寻求资产和分散投资组合的投资者。Okay, now I'm going to share with you uh, some of the key issues and main risks. So the first one being that state-owned enterprises uh, are not allowed to invest in mining, uh, telecommunications, media outlets, and to buy land in an area up to 10 kilometers of Panama's borders. Um, 巴拿马这边是不允许国有企，呃，就是外国的国有企业投资电信和煤气，也不得再去泥边进食公里的范围内购买呃土地的。然后这可能就会对他们就外国投资者的一些发展的机会有扩扩张，就有一定的影响。The second one being that foreigners are uh, restricted to conduct a retail business. So consumer level business uh, of purchase of goods, for example, is reserved to nationals uh, as a general rule. Um, and there are other activities such as insurance brokerage and professional firms, which are also reserved to Panama nationals. 此外，某些活动也是仅限于巴拿马的公民参与，比如说这个保险经纪和专业公司。就外外国投资者在进入这些市场的时候，就可能受到一些的限制和规定。Additionally, foreigners are forbidden to donate funds in cash or in kind uh, to political parties, uh, political candidates, or uh, pre-candidates. 外国公民也是不能够向巴拿马的一些，比如说你的政党，或者说你的政治候选人捐赠现金，或者是采购物的，因为这样可能会影响到当地的一个呃政治的选举的情况。Labor unions, uh, even though that they have a very limited presence uh, in certain industry, must be considered when investing in those industries. Uh, specifically, if there is um, sector labor agreements, uh, is something that you must consider when investing here in Panama. Uh,然后就是呃工会，就是工会虽然在某些行业的影响力它是有限的，但是在投资的时候，又我们又必须的考虑到工会，特别是注意到就是行业劳动协议，然后尊重呃工会和那个比如说工会和老呃。Uh,
Uh, for greater context, this means that uh, foreign investors have to respect and negotiate uh, with the labor unions on their collective bar bargain agreements when operating on an industry that has a labor union. Uh, this obviously affects the costs uh, of labor and productivity and should be taken into consideration when investing here in Panama. 只要投资这个行业的时候，他们必须和工会来进行谈判，然后尊重工会和和劳工们达达成的一定的一些，比如说劳资协议啊这些东西，然后嗯，这可能会对就是呃外国投资的人在进入的时候，可能要考虑这方
呃，还有就是在你决定选择哪种类型的实体或者说制图之前呢，你呃，你需要就投资人需要考虑的一个重要因素就是当地的一些呃税收的一个情况。如果说你产生区域外区域收入的话，你还要确定对其所涉及的其他国家的一个税收的影响。所以外国投资人在投资的时候，必须将这些问题纳入到他的投资结构中。呃，投资结构考虑的范围里面。Okay, now I'm taking off my lawyer hat and I'm putting on my a、uh, Panamanian. Uh, residential. And feel free to to come visit us. Um. So,、uh, how to avoid risks when now I'm putting back my lawyer hat?、Uh, how to avoid risk relating to cross-border trade and commercial disputes here in Panama? Uh, uh, uh sorry, and Hendro, could you uh repeat that? That there, there there is something wrong with my network. Can you hear me, Fiona? Ah,、uh, yeah, but I didn't hear you. Uh, this moment. Can you hear me? Ah,、uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It, it it's okay. Right now, but uh, what what you have said, I didn't hear. Okay, so when avoiding risks, um, obviously the first step is to a、uh, conduct a due diligence of uh the partner that you're considering here in Panama, uh, ask for his reputation, references that they can give you, uh. Maybe some kind of documentation that provides、uh, evidence of financial stability and the legal standing of your partner. Uh, 然后就是呃，接着就是你需要讲到就是如何防范那些风险。然后就是第三个部分，就是说你需要对你的交易伙伴进行一个呃尽职调查。然后。呃，就是调查方可以给到你，比如说你的交易伙伴的一个信誉、信誉或者说他的财务以及其他的一些法律状态的一个分析。Okay, so on the contractual side, obviously this is one of the main things to consider when entering into a business relationship is to have a well-drafted, detail-oriented、uh, contract. That outlined the terms of conditions of the business relationship as you envision it,、um, and make sure that、uh, the people in your team understand the legal obligations and responsibilities that you will be assuming、uh, for them to be able to comply、uh, with with those obligations. 呃，然后合同呢，就是在大家进行商商事交易的时候，需需要重点关注和考虑的一个事情，就是大家应该就是在签到合同的时候要非常的注意呃一些细节，然后要包括就是你将在合同中将相关的业务关商业关系进行明确化，然后同时要确保。你的一个商业团队是能够了解合同里面规定的一些条款，就是了解这个合同每个条款规定的意思，然后以便于就是大家能够正确的履行合同。Regarding the dispute resolution here in Panama, we have a modern arbitration law which is based on Uncitral.、Um, you can Conduct arbitration using different statutes,、uh, and this obviously provides a quicker and more efficient resolution than the local courts.、Um, and again, following the principle of freedom to contract, you can、uh, have 
flexibility when drafting these arbitration clauses. Uh, for example, you can establish a, a requirement that upon a dispute, you first have to engage in direct negotiation before being able to commence the arbitration procedure, or you can establish that upon a dispute, you can go direct to arbitration procedure. This is just an example uh, to demonstrate um, our, our legislation regarding arbitration and the flexibility that it offers. 然后这个巴拿马的争议解决机制是有挺多的，但是其中最方便的一个就是，当然是双方进行一个协商的解决，在你启动，比如说你拿起法律的手段进行仲裁，或者说诉讼之前，你可以由双方来进行一个友好的协
，呃，如果说后续大家有一些投资意向或者什么样的话，可以联系我这边，然后我这边可以帮助大家来联系呃当地的一些专家，给到。大家一些法律建议啊，或什么，因为我们更加良细当地的一些背景，然后这这样能够帮助大家更好的来保护自己的权益，或者说开展投资业务等等。然后呃，然后呃，巴拿马也是一个呃挺小的国家，然后人口大概在四百万左右，嗯，但是非非也也非常的欢迎大家能够来到我们国家，谢谢。Uh, thank you for and Andrew. Thank you for the speech. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. Thanks for the excellent presentation, Alejandro. And now let's come to the Q and A part. 下面进入问答环节。呃，我们已经收到了一些提问，然后我已经发到了评论区。呃，如果大家其他人还有问题的话，可以在评论区继续留言。呃。那个哦，王王律师，那个我已经把这个发到评论区了，啊、然后您从里面呃看时间吧。我觉得咱们时间今天还挺充分的，呃，我们可以多回答几个提问。好的，好的，嗯、那我们先呃先根据时间逐个来。呃、uh, ，Hi Alejandro， 呃呃 ，Very nice to see you today， and 呃、uh, he 呃、uh, this is Catherine， I'm gonna do the translation for the section of Q and A。Q and A, and here we have received、uh, several questions from the audience.、Uh, let's do it one by one. And could you please uh, uh, precisely answer those questions? And I will do it do the translation sentence by sentence. Is that okay? Okay, perfect. Great, great. So the first one is:、uh, Are there any requirements for the type of business to be established in Panama? Okay, so given that Panama is very flexible,、um, the question I would do it backwards. So in the sense that, what are the、uh, the businesses, the the kind of businesses that that do have requirements? So generally, for example, if you are going to establish, let's say, a、uh, car distribution business, so The requirements are very simple.、Uh, you have an operation notice, which is given by the Ministry of Commerce. You register in the municipality. You have to have a legal entity registered in the tax authority. So those are like the basic、uh, requirements that would generally apply. And when when doing business in a regulated industry such as financial. Or telecommunication, there are going to be、uh, many more requirements.、Um, so, so there are requirements, but they will depend on the kind of industry that you will be、uh, investing in. Okay. Oh,、uh, 首先呢，就是在巴拿马，由于巴拿马的这个投资政策呢是非常灵活的，这是一个大的前提和基础。那所以其实呃，简单的来说，可以呃看两个方面，回到两个方面，大概主要有呃基于两个要求。第一个呢，例如呃举例来说，以这个呃汽车的呃这个销售呃为例的话，相对来说，它的呃监管是比较简单的，呃，基本的在当地类似于像我们呃就。跟中国相比较的话，类似于像呃工商监管、市政呃管理之类的这一些机构去做基本的注册登记，呃以以及做相应的税务登记等等，这些呢其实都是一些基础的呃最基础的法律监管的一些登记的要求。那这是一种类型。其次，第二种呢就是像类似于金。融、电信等等这些行业，那这些行业呢，它就是属于一种相对来说具有一些要受受限于一些监管要求的行业了。OK， 各位。Hi, Alejandro. Can we go to the second question? Yes. 
Yeah, sure. Okay. okay, so the question is, what are the specific requirements for trading enterprises and processing enterprises? Um, as I mentioned, the, the requirements for these kinds of uh, trading enterprises are minimal. The ones that I mentioned in my previous question uh, and processing enterprises, well, it will depend on the type of uh, processing activity. So, for example, if, if you are a managing chemicals or processing explosive material, there is a specific requirement for those kinds. But if you are processing um, non-regulated products, uh, it's less requirements. So, the, the basis requirements are, are the ones from my pre previous questions and the specific requirements will depend on the specific activity being conducted. Okay. 呃，关于第二个问题呢，呃，首先就贸易类型的公司来说，倒也它的监管是的确是非常少的。那这个其实可以参考前面第一个问题的呃解释。那第二点呢，对于加工类的企业的这个监管呢，其实在根本上来看，
the fourth one is what are the red lines and special preferential policies for corporation taxation, corporate executives and corporate employee taxation in cross-border situations? Okay, that's a very good question. Um, as a general rule, uh, there is no differentiation between a executive and a lower level employee with regards to taxation. They will both be subject to a natural person income tax, which is um, the higher the salary, the higher the percentage that you will be charged. However, uh, in the case of international or multinational companies that um, register under the multinational headquarter regime, which I explained in the presentation, the executives that come to Panama and work for these companies will uh, not be subject to uh, income tax on a natural person level. So for example, if you're a Chinese executive and your company um, takes you to be the president of the multinational headquarters based in Panama, uh, that person will receive its sal his salary here in Panama free of taxes in Panama. Okay. Uh,关于这个问题呢,呃,从一个 基本的层面来说呢，首先对于公司的高管以及低层的，或者说普通的员工来说，大家在税收上面是没有一个本质的差别的。这是第一点。第二点呢，就是呃，那么它的主要的这个收入的收入所得税的这个类型呢，是类似
I see. So passport won't be changed, but we'll get the permanent residence status, right? Correct. And when you're a permanent resident, you can live in the country for the whole year, like like any other national. Um, mm -hmm. You 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 cannot vote on the elections, but um, and and but you are a permanent resident and 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 you can live and move around the country like like any other national. Got it. So is that criteria amount is three hundred thousand dollars? To be honest, I'm not one hundred percent sure because I think they recently changed the law. But um, I have a brochure of of that program that I can share with you uh, for you to share with the audience, and you will have the correct information because immigration law has has their own. Uh, you know, ha they have their own lawyers. Um, mm -hmm. I am more a corporate lawyer of uh, securities and M and A transactions, but but I mean I can get the information and send it to you. But the the short answer is yes, there is a recognition for investments in real estate, and uh, upon that investment, you can get a permanent residence here in Panama. Got it. So appreciate your help. Thank you. Um. 关于关于最后这个问题的呃回答呢，相对来说还是呃比较呃就会涉及的方面会比较多。首先第一个呢，就是呃作为一个基本的原则，如果是呃外国公民，那么在巴拿马本地购买不动产，呃达到了一定金额，那前面呃这个律师的。呃，这个关于这个购买金额的标准呢，他是说会需要跟移民律师再去再次确认一下。前面提到的三十万美金呢，只是一个举例哈，呃，只是一个呃那个呃举例的金额，那并不是最准确的。呃，但是 anyway， 我不管怎样，呃，无论这个金额是多少，那外国公民呢，在呃如果是在巴拿马本国。呃，购买了符合法律呃法律规定的这个一定金额以上的不动产，那么是可以取得本地的永久居民的这样一个身份的。那呃，这个永久居民的身份呢，它本身并不会变更你的护照，呃，而是一个在当地的一个永居的权利。那这是呃，这是可行的。其次呢，就是这个呃永居的这个身份呢，您可以在当地呃长期的居住，但是呢是没有选举权和被选举权的。那关于与这个移民法相关的这些法律呢，如果大家有兴趣的话，呃，也可以呃后续再联系我们，包括这个巴拿马的律师，他们呃如果有机会的话呢，他们也会。把相关的最新的，因为可能近期呢，在移民法相关的这个领域里面的法律有所更新，所以他们呃有机会也会把最新的这个制度给到我们，然后我一边帮助大家呃在这个方面做进一步的了解。I would like to add that it's not only for investment in real estate, but also if you invest uh on a business that meets certain criteria. I think you have to have five employees. Uh, again, I will share with you this information. But if you invest in a business here in Panama, you also get the permanent residence. So it's not only real estate. Got it. That's great. Uh, that sounds great. Um, uh, 巴拿马律师呢，进一步的做了一个补充，就是关于在巴拿马投资取得这个永久居民身份的这个。途径呢，并不仅仅限于在当地购买不动产，还包括在当地投资，呃，这个呃投资商业，或者说做商业投资。那么基本的标准呢，就举例来说，比如说你雇佣不少于五个当地的员工，以及达到其他的这个标准，其他的法律规定的标准，那么也通过这些途径也是可以取得当地的这个永居的身份的。这是给大家补充的一个信息。嗯，好，大家还有其他提问吗？啊，那没有的话，我们今天的提问环节就到此结束。非常感谢两位律师刚才的那个在提问过程中也是讲的也非常好，翻译也非常好。嗯、呃，如果大家还有其他的问题，可以与我们主办方联系。啊，谢谢大家，今天的培训到此结束。Thank you, everybody. That's the end for today's presentation. Thank you so much.
Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a good day. Thank Have you. a good night. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.